Hello friends, welcome to BMH Learning. This video is regarding cheese production. Cheese making refers to the production of cheese by using bacterial culture, enzymes and stabilizers to condense the milk proteins and fat and to preserve the cheese. The formation of cheese requires milk as a raw material. The production of cheese includes the following sequential steps. Sterilization Like every industrial production, the process of cheese making also requires a sterile environment to avoid any microbial contamination. Standardization of milk The milk should be free of any of flavors, microbial contamination, antibiotics, and chemical contaminants. Subject milk to the centrifugation to clarify the small exogenous particles or somatic cells during the standardization process. Pasteurization of milk. It reduces the spoilage of organisms and improves the environment for the growth of starter cultures. Inoculation of starter culture. Then add the starter culture into the milk and subject it to heat around 90 degree Fahrenheit for 30 minutes to ripen. The right step promotes bacterial growth to start the fermentation process. Addition of rennet. Rennet aids in milk curdling or coagulation as it functions as a coagulant. Cutting of curd. This step allows the coagulum to ferment till it reaches a pH 6.4. Then fraction the coagulum into small cubes with a cheese cutter. This step allows easy separation of whey out of the curd. Cooking the coagulum. Then the fractions of coagulum are heated up to 38 degrees centigrade for the desired time. Draining whey. After cooking the whey curd mixture, drain out the whey from the vat. The curd is obtained after the removal of whey, which appears as a knitted mat. Brining It is a process where salt acts as a stabilizer, which increases the shelf life of the cheese. Ripening Store the cheese in a cool and dry place, under controlled temperature and humidity up to the desired age. This was all. Thanks for watching.